Hello and good morning guys and welcome uh, to another video. It's been a while. Uh, I am back, hopefully. Uh, nervous laughter. Uh, today I want to show you something I've been actually preparing for almost a month now. Like this has probably been the longest preparation ever for a video. I built this entire city, this airport that you can see. Doesn't really have a name. It might be called like Westfield or so, but I made all of this to show what I thought would be a very simple trick um, re relating to airports and how to get planes to behave better. But then I realized what I knew didn't work anymore. Like something had changed and it didn't work. So I had to reinvent the trick or uh, rediscover it and uh, find new solutions to the problem. The problem is, uh, well, there's many problems with this airport. We can see a lot of planes, but the problem I want to solve is having planes take off and land realistically, like not doing that, like not making that insane turn straight off the runway. Um, th this is something that bugs me a lot. Um, if it bugs you as well, like uh, stick around and uh, I'll show you how to fix it. Um, um, yes, we will use two mods basically here today. We will use the more network stuff and the move it mods. Um, the more network stuff gives you the access to place plane paths in game and that, that's why we need it. Um, and also I think you need this mod actually to even see the plane paths in game, but uh, we're not gonna, yeah, we're not gonna use it heavily. We're The, the main sort of trick is actually move it related, but I'll, I'll, I'll basically show you right away. Um, this is, doesn't re require a lot of lead up here. Uh, I'm going to show first thing, like the traffic routes. Uh, I'm going to go into the info views here and press on the runway. Uh, traffic routes and press on the runway. And we can see how all the planes are taking off and landing, right? Um, and here from this runway. Basically, what it does when you place a runway uh, I think there's a lot of speculation here. I don't know all these things as usual, but my speculation is that the runway creates a connection to the plane path and it seems to be at this point the closest point maybe or something um, and It's kind of locked like it's snapping to this point We can do other stuff and like redraw the paths and like make the connection at a better point this has been my go-to solution in the past, like making a point that is close to the runway and sort of at the extension of the runway. But that doesn't, that's not as successful at, as the trick I've sort of figured out now, or as easy to do. So we'll do the new trick. Uh, the new trick will be move it based. Uh, we will go um, into, yeah, we're already in here. Okay, we can see it. And uh, I'm going to, oh, no, sorry. Yes, back here. We can see the connection to the, the nearest runway is made at this point, right? So I'm just going to zoom in here. I'm going to uh, pull up these um, plane paths here and I'm going to select them. Actually, I'm going to use the picker here so we only select them, don't accidentally. And I'm going to select like a few of these segments of it. Um, and. I'm gonna pause the game so we don't lag everything up completely. And I'm just gonna move this over. Uh, I'm gonna move this over to somewhere that I think makes sense. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, but like at the extension of the runway, like at the extension of the runway, you could align this up with a temporary road or whatever to make it look like exactly right, but I'm kind of fine with it just eyeballing it. and quite a bit away as well because the planes will do less of a circling around if they can get up to the correct altitude like in a straight path to the the point where it connects to the plane path so we might get less uh, circling around if we place it a little bit further away is the theory at least it doesn't always work but usually and here now I will go and actually place the pa plane paths here and um, connect them up uh, the, the ones we moved and this is the easiest way to do it. So the runway snaps to the point that is here. Um, 
But we can change these how much we want. They're sort of the dead ends. To clean it up a little bit. And, um... And if we are lucky now, which big if, we can delete these guys here and uh, run the simulation and see a bit. We still have like these stumps of uh, these old connection here. We can remove that later. Uh, but to prove the point that it kind of works, yes, you can already see it. The plane paths, uh, the planes are taking off and landing uh, using this... Um, yeah, using the, the piece of the plane paths removed, basically. So, and it was pretty straight out. It seems to work pretty good. And you can see the planes are taking off better. It's not perfect. It's not always going to be perfect. You can fine-tune it, like, how much you want yourself. But, like, a little bit of uh, swaying to the side could be, like, accounting for, like, crosswinds or something like that. That's absolutely uh, a fine... Uh, it, it it's it's it works with my uh, very perfectionist attitudes, I guess. So hopefully it works with yours as well. But if it needs to be perfectly straight, you might want to sit here and uh, just fine tune it a lot. Uh, but we can see the planes are behaving so much better now. Look at that. Okay, so much better. Yeah. There's a little bit of variance as well, like sometimes they turn a little bit to the left, sometimes they turn a little bit to the right, sometimes they despawn. <laughs> I think that was an old plane who didn't have like updated paths. Yeah, so that's good enough. And you can also see, this is like my, um, like let's move on to the next thing here, which is my biggest issue with uh, the new the new and improved plane AI from Airports DLC, because every runway seems to only have one point where it connects to the plane paths. So the plane's landing will actually go to this point and go down straight the length of the runway and then make a turn and land. So that annoys me as well, but it usually looks be it usually works a lot better uh, because the landing has been improved. They have like a sort of fixed um, approach distance before the runway start. Um, you can see them here; they're coming in like that, and they're going to make a turn. It's extremely unrealistic, but the t it it's less annoying than the takeoffs, I would say. Uh, the way we would fix that, there's, there's multiple uh, ways to fix that. Um, the easiest way is because we now have a two runway airport, right? We have an airport with two runways. We dedicate one runway for takeoff and one for landing. So actually I'm going to disconnect this one here. I'm just going to do like that for now and you could delete it entirely. Yeah, it's another option. Uh, but by changing the direction, it's disconnected. So now they can't take off here. They can only land here. Uh, and we're going to use this one for takeoffs only. Actually, we're going to do it the other way around because this one is uh, this one is set up for takeoffs already. <laughs> uh, we're going to do it the other way around. This guy is going to be landing only, and this guy is going to be takeoffs only. Yes. I think that's it, yes. And we're gonna do the same thing with plane paths for this runway. You can see where they connect um, by, yep, the plane path here, yep. So here we have it, uh, going to switch into the plane path thing on move it, and we're gonna select this area, which we'll have to do. It's a little bit annoying that you can't see them at, and use move it at the same time, but. That could be my setting, so... Uh, since this is gonna be a landing... For landing only... We're gonna place this part... I'm gonna pause the game again, so I don't... Just completely make everything broken. Shout out to my friend Serjak again. <laughs> or uh, always nagging about me pausing the game. Now this is actually a, 
uh, situation. Like, doing this kind of stuff and water stuff, you might actually want to pause the game, so. Yes, I think that's good. A little bit... Man, maybe a bit further away. Let, let's try to just do it a bit further away. Um, it's a good thing that I found this trick, because the, the old way that I wanted to show... Uh, usually worked maybe better, but it was a lot more tedious and it would take a lot more time. Like, I was worrying how I would record a video that wasn't like 18 hours or something like that, but... That, that's an exaggeration, it wouldn't be 18 hours, but would be a very long video. Um, this trick is a lot simpler. So what we've done now, again, we've moved the functional connecting plane path over here. And if we're looking in the, the roots, they should be soon updating for that. Um, yes! Ah, oh, it works! Imagine, it just works! So that is great. Um, it seems like moving the plane paths around is very... It's very reliable. I've tried this a few times now, and it seems to work every time. Um, sometimes when you draw new paths and try to make them sort of snap back to the uh, airport again, like... It will work, sometimes it won't. So it's a little bit awkward. Um, it's not... There's no guarantees with, uh, with doing it, like, by just placing new plane paths like this, so... I would recommend like finding where it connects and then moving it into the position where you want it to be. That's That seems to work almost every time. Or every time I've tried it so far, so. Um, let's see if we can see a plane actually landing now in the nice way. Oh, look at that. So we're taking off straight line out this way. We're landing straight line that way. Yeah, basically straight line. It's good enough. Um, we see, where are they coming from? Yeah, and they're all coming into this point and then landing, okay, yeah. And, oh, there's a plane, I think I saw a plane. Here's a plane. It's like a few, a few planes. I wanna see, I wanna see this, see, small passenger plane here. I'm gonna follow it in. It might still do some of the looping, yes, you can see. It's not far enough away, so it will still do a little bit of looping to get into the position, but it's fine. That's, like, acceptable for me, but that's that's something you can fine-tune to, like, almost uh, into eternity. The airports take so much time, and especially this functionality fixing kind of stuff, so... Hopefully this guide will be a very good sort of resource and, like, help you uh, make this a lot easier and quicker, so... Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, oh, so what is next on the schedule? Um, now we don't really have the same problem because there's n there doesn't seem to be as much like spamming of planes everywhere, but another trick, uh, like if you want your airports to be a little bit more believable that I've found, is that you can uh, disable some of the plane stands and just place parked planes in their, uh, onto them. If you want, like, if you if you have an airport with just too much traffic and too many planes, you can uh, disable a plane stand. I'm realizing I'm taking a small plane and I'm placing it on a big, like, medium plane stand, but, like, that's something you can do. You will get this annoying turned off icon, though, but, yeah, you can hide that with mods. <laughs> So that's a trick for if, if you're like getting just too many planes, that's usually how I would fix it. But we don't seem to have that problem right now, actually. It looks pretty uh, manageable, the traffic on the airport. Uh, the next thing, that was a bonus trick, like in between, because now I'm going to uh, talk about another, uh, another trick to make the runways. We're going back to that. I've, I've charged up. This is maybe the most annoying and tricky part of it, or like, the part of the video where we realize, what if we want an airport with only one runway, right? That's very realistic, like, many airports in the world only have one runway. Now we have two, and they work separately, but we, we're gonna have to struggle and think a bit more how to make it work with just one. So, 
basically what we have now um, is this runway is only for takeoff. It's not connected on the, the landing end. But what we could do, and I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this live. We're doing it live, uh, but it might not work. <laughs> I'm going to use the find it mod. You can find it here. Uh, that's actually, a, yeah, a, another mod that I didn't talk about, but... Um, and it's not necessary for the main trick, but it might be necessary for this, because if we search for runway and find it, we will find the old airport runway here. And... You know what? I'm gonna pause the game again. And I am going to try to find a way to place a runway. We're gonna place it next. We're actually gonna place it uh, next to the uh, the actual runway now. And I'm gonna connect it up to this point here. Um, actually, I'm gonna connect it up to this point here if it lets me. Oh, I see what I did actually. I have a hidden taxiway over under here. You know what? We can try something a bit different then. Just try to upgrade that to an, a runway like like so. And uh, undo with move it and it's going to be placed back. It's The trick is basically about um, what you need to do is overlap runways. Um, it's very tedious. I, I don't recommend doing this if you don't like sort of have a good understanding and if you're not very comfortable with mods like move it but basically what we have done now is we have connected a or like made another a separate runway that is extremely um, awkward we need another node here i think for it to to work uh like so uh, and I'm also gonna select, this might be important, like select only the runways in the move it tool. I'm gonna drag it out, something like that. It's gonna create some glitching with the actual runway and, and the lights are going to be weird as well. So there's a lot of things you might be annoyed by, by this, but if we are lucky now, um, this might actually connect so that planes can land on this runway also. Um, and that would sort of create the illusion of one runway, of having one functional runway. Um, it's probably not going to work actually because I feel like I've done this in the wrong way, but deleting the runway and I'm undoing, undoing the delete because sometimes for whatever reason that, uh, that updates it and fixes things. So. We'll run the simulation for a little bit and see if it starts working, but um, it it does work. You can do this. I <laughs> I can uh, can provide some pictures of the other cities where this is in function. Um, and yes, um, basically the old the old and not so improved plane AI, you could use a single runway. Uh, much easier because it would connect two plane paths on both the start and the end of a runway But since uh, since airport steel see that has no longer been possible at least that I've found so it only connects Every airport every runway at to one plane path. Oh, no. What did that plane do? Oh No, you're not supposed to do that when I'm recording Okay, yeah, sometimes this will happen and they just find awkward shortcuts <laughs> but uh, I'd say 95% of planes actually take off as intended so and we're looking at this path here yeah we might not get anything working in this video but just just as a no side note that's how you would do that um, if you want a single uh, single runway airport um, what is the next point yes uh, a note on if you want to do like realistic ish as good as possible behavior in the vanilla game when it comes to airports um i should actually like do a different map for that but or actually open a different save but we're gonna try to explain how it works here also uh these are the plane paths right we've been moving around and stuff like that but in the vanilla game you can't actually see these i don't know of any way to see these plane paths in the game 
you can only see them in the asset editor so basically what you would do is like you would do trial and, and error and you could place like a, a temporary runway like and point it in some direction and um, and connect it up so that you see planes taking off and landing on it and eventually you will you will pretty soon see that they seem to be connecting to some point like in the distance and that point or like even in the not so far distant and it could be like they go straight up but basically how the planes react after they take off uh, they are generally like moving towards that plane path so you can use that uh, as a sort of as a help and guide to to place your runways better um, what you want to do is preferably in the vanilla game if for example we have a plane path that is like this let's look at this cleaner area without anything I would place I would try to place the runway like this pointing straight towards the uh, to towards the plane path straight towards it from a 90 degree angle like perpendicularly um, it's yeah they will, they will still make turns when they take off but it's it's the best it's the best thing we can do unfortunately oh you can also yeah you can actually also like see planes and maybe even follow them uh, and and see and sort of get an idea of where the plane path paths are and how they go that way in the vanilla game as well so that's another option I guess but it's you really want mods for this 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 is one of those tutorials I'm sorry <laughs> um, yeah and I don't have anything else to say if you liked this uh, uh, do the like and subscribe things and uh, and hopefully I will be getting back to doing more videos now again uh, after I've finished this this brick of a of a chunk of a of a recording this this thing that has been in my mind for so long and uh, stuck there basically so look forward to more videos maybe even some actual let's play stuff on the Costa Asura map maybe that's uh, what's what's coming up next we'll see we'll see um, yes thank you guys again and uh, I'll see you next time if you want to support me more, I now have a Patreon page, um, and this is also how I share save game access, so be sure to check that out if this is something you are interested in.